So how long does it take to customize a ball joint adult anyways? Hi, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball joint adult and craft related content. And today I'm customizing the biggest doll I own. Um, and I'm gonna see how long it takes me. So this is not the doll I sculpted myself. This is a doll that was sculpted by my dear friend Ace of Dolls. So Ace of Dolls currently has a pre-order going on for this doll actually, and his name is Hierophant. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that, but it's a very small sized SD. If you guys know me, you know I'm not super into SD dolls usually. They're a little too big for me. He comes in just over 50 centimeters, I believe. And honestly, a lot of that is leg because he is a fantasy doll. So if you collect MSDs, you could totally get away with this. And if you collect SDs, you could totally get away with this. It's very best of both worlds. Their pre-order is open until the beginning of December, I believe December 1st, and I believe Ace is even offering a six month layaway, so super fantastic. Um, great for anybody who collects MSDs or SDs, and I also wanted to say thank you to Ace for sending me Herofint to customize, and I'm very much looking forward to this. So yeah, this is a little bit of a spin on my usual customization, but um, I like doing a little bit of a spin. Whee! Okay, obviously that's not what I meant, but I thought it would be fun to see how long it actually takes me to do a full custom. So in this video, we're gonna see how long it takes me to make the wig, eyes, face up, full outfit, body blushing, nail polish, and I think maybe even some tattoos. For once, I don't have to make shoes because he has hooves, so that's gonna cut a little bit of the time off. Uh, but speaking of cutting the time off, uh, this video is gonna be super long if I don't stop talking and start doing, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm of course going to be starting with the face up. So I've already sealed him three times with Mr. Super Clear. And I've got all my supplies next to me. I'm gonna use the timer on my phone and I'm going to stop the timer every time I get up to like spray sealant because I'm not going to count that towards his time. Um, and we're just going to keep hitting the timer every time I work on him. I'm also going to try and be really efficient with the time. So for example, while the face up is sealing, I might go ahead and start on some body blushing and then like kind of alternate between the two. So be ready for that. Um, I'm going to leave it in real time because I'm not doing a voiceover. I'm actually going to talk through this one. Uh, and it would be really heckin' confusing to try and piece together if I'm not doing a voiceover, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up my stopwatch. Wait, where's my brushes? Before I get started, where are my brushes? So I'm gonna start with the under layers. I'm gonna get a little extra with them this time. Stopwatch and start. Um, I could have done airbrush for this, but uh, because I wanna kind of add more colors than I usually do, I'm gonna start small. I'm gonna start with yellows. Um, I'm gonna put some here. So the idea for him is I'm gonna go for a very soft feminine boy look, but I still want him to look like a boy. Um, although what does that even mean? But like, I guess more on the masculine side, but uh, he's gonna have a very soft feminine style. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this one for some purple. There's already some purple on there, but I'm gonna grab a light purple because I don't want it to come off too heavy handed. So this is an eyeshadow. This is just like facial coloring and shadows. I don't usually use purple, but I'm, like I said, I'm trying to be a little more fun with the colors. Obviously a lot of pinks like in the eye area, like in the um, creases and stuff. And I'm gonna just go over those same spots, but with um, fluffy brushes. I'm gonna mix in some like oranges and stuff in with my yellows because they pretty much disappeared in the resin. So that's like the yellow. See, like I said, you're not gonna even see it on camera, but. And then I'm going to grab the blue. Purples and blues. I'm gonna do pink and then I'll do red separately. I'm gonna put it down because I, I have the shakiest hands that have ever, ever existed. Like this is all gonna be so faded out, but it's like, I feel like it really adds to the end result though. I actually quite like that. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Okay. A 
Okay, while the sealant cures, we're at 17 minutes for the undertones. Okay, so I'm going to basically just be doing blushing right now. Um, once that's sealed in, I might, I definitely will be giving him at least one tattoo. Um, but for now, I'm just going to try and get some color on his body. It's not going to be, he doesn't have bits, just as a heads up. Like, this is the body. Wow. Um, <laughs> you can't see all of it, but um, there's no bits, so like it's not going to get like R-rated or anything up in here. So we're at eight, just under 18. Let's start. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I'm going to go in with like the same yellows and all that in certain spots. So I'm going to go down the middle of the chest with yellow. Actually, I'm going to scrape up some more and I'm going to do more of an orange. Um, and by the way, I... A lot of people I know will take the parts off to blush them. I just full body sprayed him twice. Uh, I, I was not about to pull all the parts apart. I know some people will, but uh, that is not for me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the hands separately. So let me just, cause I'm gonna need to pull the hands up so close to my face. This is like a really weird visual, I'm sure. But you know, I'm just trying to get some yellow onto the hips. He has really soft shoulder blades, so I don't have to define them very much. That one I'm a little heavier than I wanted. There go. Under here, there's gonna be a lot of red in there too, but. Oh my God, I hate when it goes on dark like that. And I guess blue can also, you can think of it as besides shadows, going anywhere where your veins would be close to your skin, like in your wrists and stuff. So like you find the flat of the wrist and you could put a bit of blue there. looking quite cute. Uh, the elbows I would normally blush pink, but they're blue, so maybe I'll just try and delicately, yeah, go around. You can blend up and down too. I just basically um, blend in the direction I want the color to go. This is so weird to do on camera, like, I'm like, what if? Like it's what, I mean, it's weird enough to do on camera, but then I'm sometimes like, what if someone walked in right now? If someone walked in, I'd have bigger things to worry about, like a home invasion, but you know. You know what? Maybe they would just walk out. Maybe they would see this happening and they'd be like, not today. Uh, this is where I'm going to leave it. So let's look how long that took. Stop it. And, um, so I've got the front part sprayed of the body, so I'm gonna start on the face and hands and then uh, go spray the back. You can kind of see the undertones. Um, so you can see that it softens up when it gets sprayed. Um, I'm gonna start on that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make him like a pink wig, but I think his eyebrows should still be dark brown. Maybe I'll even try and put some dark brown like in his roots or whatever. I'm trying to make the wig roots. I've never even made a short wig, so that's gonna be really fun. Um, anyways, we're we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, we're gonna do this face up, so I'm gonna 40, 23. Okay, so this is the rubber band trick. Um, I started doing this because I saw on TikTok there was like a filter that like showed you how to draw your eyebrows on. You know what, you could do this, like instead of a stencil like lines, you could do this with elastic bands. Cause my biggest problem when I make eyebrows is making them even. So they're not like this or this. Cause um, I have really bad like depth perception, I think, or like, like if I'm hanging something on a wall, trying to get it to go on straight and not crooked, obviously. Um, is really hard for me. So like getting things completely even level wise is hard. So that this kind of solves that for me. So this is where I'm going to put my first rubber band and then we'll take the second one and you can like set the thickness basically of the eyebrows. And I'm just going to use an angled brush and I'm using like a dark brown. I'm still in the pastels and I try and keep them a little lighter here and then fade to darker. But again, you can do that with line work too. I might darken this up with um, a different brush in a minute, but, and it's gonna come out like this. Mm -hmm. 
this isn't paint, it's just water. I'm just cleaning up. We have freckles. Um, I will put the freckles on now. So these are the, this is the Koi watercolor. A reddish brown. Oh, that was a bit too red, but let's just pull some of this. And you know what, I'll keep the watercolors out because I'll do a little veining in the hands. Now I'm going to add some blushing, kind of concentrate it over the apples. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm so excited. I think he's gonna be so freaking pretty. I usually use gouache for um, a liner, but I gotta say the watercolor is working really beautifully right now. So um, this is basically where I'm leaving this layer. And um, I will pause and then come back and do the hands because the, I have to spray the back of the body. So, um, ah, ah, where's my stopwatch? Okay, so that's where we're at. Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a quick minute and let everybody know that I do have an art section on my website now. So there's pins, stickers, tote bags, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff. So if you're into cute dolly things, they're not teeny tinkers specific, but kind of more just doll general. They're super soft and cute. I wear mine constantly. You're gonna see them a lot in upcoming videos. I'll try and add new designs and stuff, and I'm always open for design suggestions as well. Anyways, back to the video. Uh, back for the hands, starting it back up. And then kind of between the knuckles. And then obviously the tips of the fingers are gonna be pretty blushed. And just add a little bit of white here and then on the tips of the nails. Hello, I return with the body. The head is still curing. Um, we are at one hour, 23 minutes and 30 seconds and 90 milliseconds. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a little bit of work on the body, um, some tattoos, um, stuff like that. If you see me on my phone, it's because I'm using uh, references for tattoos and yeah. Again, we're getting real wild this time. So I'm gonna go from the middle of his chest. All right. First outline, it's a moth. Kitty cat. <laughs> it's pretty. One fifty or one forty eight, one forty nine, and we're back for more face up. I'm thinking we're starting to get there though, so like it's starting to come together. I'm just trying to smoke out what's happening. Um, we're gonna put some more red in the center of the mouth. I'm just kind of putting some of the yellow back on too. I dare to say I'm almost done. Like I'm just, I'm starting to really be pleased with it. I might not even use gouache this time. I really like how the watercolor looks. Um, I'm going to just draw him some darker eyebrow hairs because apparently they're pretty light and some highlights. So I'm just gonna use some white watercolor for this. Um, maybe a little shimmer, a little shine. He's looking very masculine, which is what I wanted, but um, I feel like we could just do like a little bit of a highlight. Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Can we focus on him? 
Um, the hands should be done. Um, I have to finish the tattoo, then I can seal that, and then I can uh, start on the next part, which will probably be, I'll probably do the wig next. Or the eyes, I should probably do eyes. Well, I have all my painting stuff out. But I've just got to paint his tattoos, I color them in. So let's uh, start back up. I think I'm gonna just color them in with the pencils. I'm happy with that. And we're gonna spray and we are at two hours and nine seconds. Okay, so we are almost ready for eyes, um, but I'm going to just gloss the inner corners like the tear ducts and stuff, and then uh, the fingernails as well. Um, I decided against nail polish and did the more natural manicure, but I am going to um, go ahead and gloss the nails. So I'm just gonna start, we're at two and nine still. And I'm just using um, Mod Podge Super Gloss, which I really like, just a little. Because, like I said, he's supposed to be fairly masculine. Um, I like gloss, like, so I'm not having him wear lip gloss. His outfit is going to be very extra, I think. But I'm trying to decide, because I was going to do a pink and purple theme, which I might still do. Um, but I've done a lot of pinks and yellows and, like, warm tones in his um, face up and his tattoos. I did try and pull some blue into them too, but there's not really any purple, so I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm just gonna let those dry. Um, I'm not gonna stop that though, because I'll just go ahead and paint the eyes. Okay, eye bases, uh, let me see what size he is. Okay, there we go. And um, I'm gonna do like an aqua blue color to just put some like, I'm just gonna put some lines in it. Okay, a little more water. Pretty, okay, so I'm gonna let those dry. And then I'll put some chalk pastel into it and then I will um, add a pupil. So let me just pause again. I lied, I forgot that I wanted to give him piercings. <laughs> I mean, these need to be really small little pieces, that's the I really do think I need to make that bigger, but um, I'm going to use some glue and I'm going to make this one for his septum. Ooh, that was so stressful. Like that took so long for what it was. Oh, I guess I can just keep going. Sorry, because um, now I can do the eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to use the pastel okay and then I'm just going to put in the pupil I am using sharpie uh, my black Posca is dead so you know pretty so I'm gonna seal these because um, if you don't seal them uh, at least I get bubbles so I'm gonna go ahead and seal these and then I'm gonna come back out and we'll start the wig cap but we can also do these, so yeah. Hi there, it is Rosie from the editing desk and I forgot to film the giveaway Rosie segment. So this is now the giveaway Rosie segment. So basically how it's going to work is there are different giveaways unlocked by different goals. So let's go over the goal. The first goal is 1K subs on Teeny or Tinkers. This is my second channel. It's where my chatty stuff is. It's where my unboxings live. If we hit that, the giveaway prize for that one is going to be a 3D printed teeny tiny of the winner's choice, except for Aria and Bowie because I lost to their STL files. My second goal is 10,000 on TikTok. And the prize for this is a blank Luna in the blossom pink color. And of course, the main goal, the big one, 
is 10K on this channel, Teeny Tinkers. So if you're not already subscribed, it's a good time. And I had so much fun with the prize last time that the prize for this one is again, another one of a kind full set. And it does benefit you to follow all of these socials. And that's because each giveaway is going to be held on each social channel. If we hit all three goals by the end of this year, I'm going to add bonus prizes in. So definitely worth trying. Giveaways and giveaway details will be announced at the beginning of 2024. So we still have time to make this happen, people. Okay, so um, time to start the wig. Uh, I have wrapped him up to protect his blushing and uh, his modesty, I guess. Um, this is the extra head plate. So, um, no, I didn't unpaint the other one. This one is a smiley face one. It's super cute. Uh, I'll probably eventually paint it the same as the first one. But for now, this is what I've done. I'm gonna start here, turn on the glue gun to warm up, drop scissors, uh, and I'm going to double wrap his head. Try and get it stuck to his head as much as possible. Um, I only recently started making wigs, but um, it is fun to be able to, but they're not, don't expect the best wig you've ever seen. That's what I'm saying. Trying to get all of the, uh, or as many of those creases out as possible. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for a minute to fully cool like this. Uh, I'm just gonna cut off the extra, it goes this way. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so we're going to adjust this a little bit. I'm going to... Uh, I want his hair to swoop down, so I mean, like, I don't need it to come up too high, but... Beautiful. Okay, so uh, here we are with the wake. I'm going to be making pink hair for him. Um, so I use yarn. I have this like acrylic roving stuff that I really like. And the pink I have is very pink, but I have white as well. So I'm just gonna mix the two and uh, it'll blend out really nice, I think. Let's not knock him over. Okay. It's gonna look different straightened too, but you can see how it's a much prettier shade of pink now. Okay, so. What I do is I will straighten one side, then turn it over and straighten the other side. I'm gonna just do this to a few of them so I have some hair to start with. So it's funny, cause you would think for um, a shorter wig, you're like, oh, it'll be fine because um, I don't need as much hair, but that's not the case. I'm going through just as much hair as I usually do. Um, because you have to put the weft so much closer together because once you cut it, you're gonna lose a lot. This, being a short wig, like this looks so full right now, um, but once I start cutting, like I might even have to put some more hair in there just to cover like holes, but like, um, okay, so we're at the top. It's mostly covered, but this is not very pretty. So I have some wefts. Um, I don't need all of these. Just a little piece of plastic. It's from a picture frame, actually, uh, just so I can peel this off after. Uh, and I'm going to like keep them as close together as I can. Drop some hot glue on there like that. And yes, I'm just going to flip this over the other way and do it on the other side too. Okay, so I think this is cooled enough to peel off. That's why I put it on plastic because you can mostly peel it off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim up most of the glue. Um, so I'm gonna start here, I guess, and put a little bit of glue and start kind of curling it, like rolling it. And again, I wanted to trim it, but I don't wanna lose all the hair, so. I rolled it even smaller, but add the glue all over the base and I'm just gonna put that right in the middle. I'm just gonna hold that there until it cools down because even though my fingers are burning, um, I need this to stay right where I've put it. But um, I'm basically like just going, thank you, you're a fin for being flexible. Um, I'm gonna just 
kind of separate it out so that there's like a middle. I'm going to take my straightener, but I'm going to take like, oh, it's so hot, like the side of it and just push down. This is, again, better if it's not hot glue because you don't want to re-melt the glue so that it's liquid. You just want to press the part down. So I only have you that. I want to turn this off now. By the way, I've not stopped working on this wig. So like when we check the timer, like it's been going. Now we can take off the plastic wrap and uh, make his haircut. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I think I like the mullet. Okay. Um, he's very like queer coated. Um, okay, and then the only other thing I wanted to do with this wig See that? It's got a little bit of a, a root happening. You can see it just a little bit from the front and it's hair, it's hair. His hair is a little soft now. It's like a very like seen mullet. You know what it's giving? It's giving never shout never, but pink. Okay, let's pause on this because um, we're at four hours. So 4.06 is what we're at. Hello, it is literally that same night and um, I just wanted to work on this outfit. Uh, so I'm in my glasses. <laughs> uh, we have vaguely changed aesthetics. I'm so sorry about the glare that's going to be happening, uh, but my contact lenses were driving me nuts. So I'm thinking like the legs are kind of like a, like a thigh high and I kind of want to keep that idea. So I'm thinking like really short booty shorts, like hot pants with like a skirt on them, like um, like a micro mini skirt moment, if that makes sense. Um, I'm hoping you can see the vision, I'm thinking. All right, so I can't decide what I want to do. <laughs> so I think what I need to do first is just um, make the shorts, because I have a clear vision for the shorts um, if they turn out the way I want them to. But, um, and this fabric is perfect for it because then I don't even have to hem this. See how perfect, because it's like, I can just use a bit of fray stop. Okay, let's do that. Here we go. So we're just gonna start that. And I'm going to eyeball Hierophant. So this is gonna be stretchy. Um, and they need to be pretty short. So I'm gonna double fold them. And it's literally gonna be like that much of an inseam. Okay. So these are the hot pants skort combo. Like, I know it looks ridiculous, but I'm hoping it's really cute on. I'm gonna, again, eyeball him from here. got this like super it's super cropped and then on the back I'm gonna put a set of the pink wings mix with these Okay, so um, I have a bag, a choker, shorts, like a squirt really, a sweater, face up, eyes, hair, body blushing, hand blushing, uh, some tattoos. I think I'm done. Um, let's just go and get the final count. Uh, five hours and 40 minutes. To do this, uh, please keep in mind that this is not counting for um, any breaks at all or the sealing time or any of that stuff um 
And also I'm exhausted. Like this was, <laughs> this was a speed run. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's put it all together and um, see how it looks. And you can let me know what you think of this for an under six hour uh, full set. <laughs> 